Very little breeze, and the flags hardly fluttering on the pitch side, and we're ready to get on the way. Shane Meehan throws the ball in, we're underway, and uh, it's... uh, ball taken there initially by Brian McNulty but leaves it behind him as picked up there by Michael Lynn. Lynn, good ball inside but Mark McKierney, he's a hard working individual is Mark McKierney wearing number 7 over there, gathers the ball in space, lays it off one more time, gives it there to Padre McNulty, his captain back inside it goes centre back, Sean Malloy all players trying to get a, a little touch of the ball, McKierney, the jersey's tugged, the referee puts his hand up to allow the advantage, the advantage has accrued with Matthew Walsh and McKierney for there's the ball for good ball to Larkin Mallon. Mallon gathers it 45 metres out from the Arbo post. Mallon looks up, thinks about his options. One of them is to go back to his captain, Potter McNulty. McNulty looks up now, delivers a high ball in there. Looking for Mallon. Mallon, ball knocked away. And coming back and gathering up the loose possession, there was Michael O'Neill for uh, Arbo. Challenges go in strong. Referee says that they were too strong. And Oshin Devlin is the man who has fouled. And the kick out or the free will go his way. Yeah, uh, we were wondering before the game who was going to pick up Paul Donnelly. Michael Cassidy has actually gone back. He's number eight on his back, but he's gone back to do a man marking job on Paul Donnelly. It's an interesting one. I see Brian McGuigan popping up very deep in his own defence as well, so he will play that role. Over and roll by the look, by the looks of things. Now the referee has decided that uh, we've, the ball was. We've seen a number of that long, in yeah. this year's championship, where referees maybe have been instructed that if players attempt to buy a free or, or to grab the opponent's arm, they're very quick to spot it. So Shane Meehan obviously thought the Arbo player was trying to buy a free. He's awarded a free. Uh, and Paul Donahue is going to kick this out of his hands. Donahue on the outside of his right boot and he started off the way he finished the Lock McCrory game. He's kicked nine points in that game. He's got the first score of the game. Here we have played under two minutes and Paul Donahue, you alluded uh, already, to him. You know, the right. game's only about seven or eight minutes old and, the, and they've conceded about seven frees, six or yeah. seven frees. Uh, but our boat would want to make this possession count on the scoreboard. Kyle Coney switches the point of the attack over to uh, Shea Quinn. Quinn slips it inside to O'Neill back it goes to Quinn this is good uh, was he fouled referee says no play can continue Quinn goes in and goes it's in the back of the net I believe yes indeed Shea Quinn has uh, strode forward and he took on his man and with some aplomb he finds the back of the net super goal from Shea Quinn our bow lead 1-1 to a point Great goal, Peter. Yeah, great uh, movement. Shea has been uh, a free man at the back, again, and dropping men back, covering space, but not marking anybody. And Shea has made them pay the penalty. Yeah, good goal. Well finished by Quinn. As the ball now is brought forward by uh, Michael Cassidy. Cassidy, 25 years of age. Coming forward with in possession, tackles go in again, but he's strong, very, very strong player. As Michael Casty retained possession, got it back there to Gervin. Gervin crossfield ball, looking for Michael Lynn, does well, slides it inside. Again, it comes back to DD Mulgrew. Mulgrew on the solos with the left, turns on to the right, gets a shot away. And again, it's gone to the left and gone wide, as you have alluded to, Peter. It's, it's the only aspect yeah. of his game. Everything else, his movement up front uh, has been exceptional there. Uh, his trickery so far. there was really good. Yeah, and he didn't give the ball Runs away. He's over there and indicates that that will be a 45 to Dungannon, who haven't scored yeah, since fan- the second minute. Fantastic block by Matty Bell. I see Brian McGuigan and Shane Meehan having words. I say probably not the only time in the game that Brian will be having a chat with Shane Meehan, but I'm not too sure what he's. Uh, complaining about there but um, good chance for Dungan it's not an easy kick by any stretch of the imagination um, it's, uh, it's young Kieran Barker yeah Kieran Barker he scored a point against Lock McCrory from a free this time Super, he scored yeah. a point against Arbo that's an excellent score by Kieran Barker he's a, he's a very very efficient dead ball kicker he'd be pleased with that one yeah absolutely and for the limited possession they have and again, we'll be happy to have two yeah, points in 16 on minutes. It's, it's been really flawless from uh, our bow, and this is just the, the start that they've been looking to. So we need a response from Dungannon here. Well, they're in possession of the football with Sean Malloy. Malloy looks up. Again, a good foot pass inside. They'll take a mark, I would say, on that occasion. It was well held there by Paul Donaghy, and Donaghy will fancy his chances with this one. This may well be the last kick of the opening quarter before we have the water break. We're into the 17th minute of the game as uh, Donaghy lines this one up. Left-footed, looks good. 
is good. Over the bar it goes. So, yeah, there's the there's the water break. So an important score before the water break for Dungannon. They've struggled, it has to be said, in this opening uh, 17 minutes. Really disappointing from uh, Dungannon. They're making uh, Ronan Casty kick it out long, I think, yeah. Yeah, Ronan Casty with the kick out. This will be a good contest. How oh, well held by Donny. Knocks away from him, but Malloy, who we mentioned earlier, not really involved in the game, gets his hands on the ball. McNulty now goes to the post. Fine effort by McNulty. This is much, much better from Dungannon, and it's a score that badly needed, and it's that man who scored that absolutely magnificent point to bring the, the dungannon Lock McCrory game to extra time. He was six minutes into injury time when he popped up and took responsibility and popped the ball over the bar to force extra time. He popped up again there with a fine score to leave it 1-4-4 four to four. and Dungannon have registered the first score of the what we now call the second quarter of this game with one yeah. possession. And the last two kickouts from our bow, Dungannon have won them so maybe that's a sign that they've upped the tempo. Interestingly, they're, they're sweep, our bow sweeper here, Brian McGuigan, he's sitting in the middle of the D and he's orchestrating, telling fellas where to go and what's happening. Yeah, bringing the ball into the ball there is Daly Jones, a, a, a very exciting player. But that's really his first touch of the game, uh, uh, Peter. Yeah, another player who has been playing really well for Dungannon this year. Uh, and they'll want to get him on the ball much more. Um, as is Mark McKearney, he's a, he's a key player. It was him that won that last kick out by just reading it. That's a, a great battle. Him and Orrin Mulgrew had two... Uh, schoolmates that played together for, for Holy Trinity winning an All-Ireland title a couple of years ago. Donaghy with the kick this time Donaghy's shot has gone to the right hand side and gone wide, first wide of the game for Dungannon, four wides to Arbo but the most important statistic is the one in the top left hand corner of your screen which says Arbo won four, Dungannon four points, beautiful conditions here in Ar- Arthur Mallon Park in Eden Dark wonderful facility uh, here in Eden Dark for this LCC Group Tyrone Senior Football Championship match between the O'Donovan Rosses and the Thomas Clarks and it's the Clarks who are in possession of the football, they've been awarded a free it's crossfield ball, ambitious ball but a good ball by the looks of things to Dylan O'Hagan O'Hagan is fouled is he? Yeah, the referee says that Brian McGuigan, the man who committed the free Yeah, I don't think Brian can have any complaints, he did catch Dylan O'Hagan, Dylan O'Hagan lost possession my new what a fantastic pass by, by uh, Daly Jones. It had to be in perfect, and yeah. it was. And the free um, is taken by Patrick Malloy with his trusty left foot, and he opens his account. So that's another score for Dungannon. They've, they've kicked the last three points. They're they, edging their way back into the they, game. They have, and he again, gets it back again. Does he fancy a pop at the post? The answer is yes. It's curling, curling, curling. And it's going to stay in play. Knocked down. Oh, slipped there by McNulty. But Dungannon have enough players back there to retrieve the situation. Just about. Daly Jones is the man working hard, picking up that ball, gives it to McKearney. McKearney always an outlet for uh, the men from the Clarks as Matthew Walsh, another man who's been very quiet in these opening 15 minutes, is in possession, lays it off to Donaghy. Donaghy, 45 metres out, might fancy this from distance. Donaghy's he shots on its way. Donaghy's shot goes over the bar. That's a super score from Paul Donaghy. And now Dungannon have kicked the last four points in a row, two of them from Donaghy. That means there's just a point between yeah. the yeah, that's, that's a score of the game. Fantastic play by, by Paul Donaghy. He's not afraid to shoot. It's a trait that he's always had. If he gets an opportunity, he'll, he'll certainly go for it. So, um, Collie Holmes obviously felt that he was having a too, too much of an influence in the game. And uh, David Walsh is on to Shane McGuigan. Yeah, and they're in the point of going forward again. Another opportunity. And oh, well held on that occasion by the goalkeeper. It was Dara Martin. He made an excellent save against Lock McCrory uh, to keep his side in the game. And that's another important stop for his important team. Important stop, but what great tackling. Discipline tackling by Mark McKearney. So many other defenders uh, would have panicked, uh, would have made a sloppy tackle. McKearney just ran with him and did enough uh, to put him off. Uh, what would have been a certain goal for but again great running uh, by Matty Bell yeah Matty Bell was the man who had that attempt as Peter has alluded to he has been everywhere on this pitch for his side in these opening 25 minutes as the ball is played out there by Cassidy out it comes to O'Neill O'Neill 24 years of age Striding forward, good ball inside again, good tussle in there, but Shane McGuigan was the man going for it, but the ball eluded him, and out comes 
the Dungannon men again with Mark McKearney he's a terrific engine this Mark McKearney lad he's all over the place for Dungannon gives it to Brian McNulty McNulty now to Dylan O'Hagan O'Hagan inside to Donny can't afford to give Donny any space goes on the loop again gets it back good play back to Walsh Walsh thought about the shot slips it inside to Daly Jones Jones brilliant play by Jones can he get the shot away can he get the score the answer to both of them is yes wonderful score by Daly Jones super player and it's the first real pass it's a pay, play where we've seen that in Gannon a forward line throw the ball about to each other to try and create a, a, a yard or two of space point game. Yep. So that was 7 to 7 the kick out will be taken by Dara Martin he's certainly been the busier of the two goalkeepers out in the middle of field break ball well picked up by Matthew Walsh Walsh gives it forward opportunity now for the full forward Patrick Malloy Malloy gets the hands through the hands it goes that's a wonderful score from McGannon there's some super scores that one came from Lorcan Mallon but when, as you've alluded to Peter if they put it through the hands they're very stylish and once again another good some score great catching out around the middle uh, but Arbo will be more than happy to be going in at half time with at least two points playing again that breeze yeah Dara Martin done well with that kick out uh, it was uh, Daly Jones that made the move for him and Jones picked it up now the ball is into Brian McNulty McNulty back to Donny Donny looks at the post gets a shot away and over the bar it goes it's as simple as that for Paul Donny when you have the class that he has uh, you look at it it's, it's, it's admirable to watch isn't it absolutely uh, brilliant kicking it off as is, is so called uh, Weaker foot doesn't matter to Paul. He can kick it off right or left. But great catching out around the middle. They'll be one to make them pay for that mistake. Yeah, it looks like they will make them pay. The shot is on its way. Oh, back off the upright. Who's reacted first? It's an Arbo player. Lays it back out. Flicked inside, but well read and well dealt with inside. And the ball eventually comes to Mark McKearney. It was uh, Colonel Devlin, who was the man that came across, read the danger, and laid the ball out to McKearney McKearney now back it goes to Sean Malloy not a great ball by Malloy but I think McNulty that's Brian one of the two brothers in the midfield pairing Brian and Podrick gives it forward and Podrick's the man striding forward now lays it off but good tackling but the referee says no he's awarded the free in to uh, Podrick McNulty yeah it's a 50-50 decision I thought Michael Chastey was very disciplined in his tackling running alongside him Um, Kyle Coney is the man who picks up uh, a yellow and Donaghy is the man who has the opportunity to level the game and Donaghy with his fourth point of the afternoon means that the sides are locked level here and what an intriguing uh, game we have in, in, in hand here yeah, and the, the intensity of the game has, has gone up a notch or two there's more physical tussles going on uh, all around the pitch so it's well set up for the second half well kicked out and the ball taken well there by Owen Mallon he's pumped up for this and why wouldn't he be his club are on the brink of reaching a semi-final of the senior championship and Mallon has been fouled and the referee awards the free yeah, it looked like a good shoulder mm-hmm. on, on shoulder there. I'm not too sure what Shane said. Maybe, yeah, he's taking it back a few steps for the, the tug, for the soil and Owen man, actually. That's what the, the free is for. And Paul Donahue, the breeze has... It's not as strong as it was in the mm. first half, Jer. And yeah. Paul's going to hit this with outside of his foot. Outside this will of the be right some score boot. if he gets it's it. It's on its way, and it's over the bar. <laughs> Absolutely score. magnificent from Paul Donaghy. He has scored two points in the second half for his team. That's his fifth of the day. And more importantly, he puts his side, Sean Malloy. Dungannon definitely have started this second half uh, much better than the start of the first half. Matthew Watch screaming for the ball down below us. 45 metres out from his own goal. Gets it. Has support there if need be. Oh, good tackle there. Excellent turnover by Colin Devlin. Lays it off there to Didi McGrew. McGrew slips it over the far side. Opportunity of a goal. It's in the back of the net. Super goal. For Arbo, well that was an error in the uh, Arbo rear guard or in the uh, Dungannon rear guard and it was the man who was introduced at half time, Corbett Morgan. The scoreboard reads 2-9, 2 11, 15 points to, uh, to 11, 4 points between the, the sides. Uh, Arbo have scored 1-2 in the last uh, 5 minutes of this game to put themselves into that 4 point lead as the ball is fed inside there looking for Malloy Malloy needs support has it there from Donaghy Donaghy on to the left this time elects to bring in one of his uh, players who is Ryan Jones Ryan Jones tries to take on his man but good tackling on that occasion by Didi Mulgrew but uh, overzealous says the referee and he's going to give the free to the Dungannon men so. and a big kick for uh, 
Paul Donnelly the four points in it uh, kick this bring it back to three Arbo have said something to Shane Meehan and that's silly from, from an Arbo perspective because it was quite a difficult kick uh, from a, the initial spot uh, whereas this is a simple tap over yeah, and, and this could be the last kick game. before the, the water break in fact it is so Paul Donaghy got the last score before the previous water break in the first half he's done the same again and remember after the previous water break it was Dungannon who dominated so this game is still oh, very much the action the throughout back. is Mark McKearney McKearney is fouled and the free will go the way of the men from Dungannon they trail this game by three points, 2-9 to 12. Ball in the hands over the far side of the field of the exciting talent that is Daly Jones. Twists and turns again, looks at the post, thought about the kick, thought better, lays it off inside to Mark McKearney, who started this move. Back it goes to Donahue. Donahue from distance, it's on its way. It looks good, it is good. It's absolutely what a, what incredible. A it's absolutely score. wonderful score from Paul Donahue. Come of the hour, come of the man, yeah, what a player. Absolutely superb. Again, the breeze. Of, of his left foot but once again Jer, it is Dilly Jones getting on a lot of ball over in, in that far wing whereas uh, that score? Gannon score now the point in it wonderful kick by the goalkeeper Dara Martin finds the overlapping and running Ryan Jones over there Jones does well referee his hand up for the advantage still the hand goes up the ball is slipped inside to Paddy McNulty the captain side. still McNulty but the referee is going to pl- pull it back and say that there was no advantage accrued and I think that's the right decision well that excellent referee in from Shane Mahan the initial foul was closer to the sideline mm-hmm. he had his hand up to say I'm allowing advantage but he was fouled Again. where the free is taken from yeah. now and then he, he has taken it back so that's excellent refereeing yeah, because uh, sometimes you see referees bringing it back to where the to first the one is. Yeah, uh, and absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he made the right the decision. It's given Dungannon a chance. And I, I, uh, I don't, I don't need to do the commentary when, when uh, Paul, Paul Donnelly. Paul has been superb, and yeah. he's he's brought it back to a one point game. So what? Going into the last eight minutes, Ger, it's, yeah. it's very well set up. Oh, it's fantastic. The, uh, we we talked about the uh, Tyrone. Uh, championship and how intriguing it has been uh, throughout from start to finish from the first day that you and I stood up here for to do the Clano and Coal Island game right through to these uh, quarterfinals. Uh, the quality has just been absolutely superb. And and it, yeah, I must say the, the role of Ronan Cassidy has kicked out. He's fine being able to find his, his man much easier. Michael Cassidy, no <laughs> other option but just to bomb it down because yeah, gives, his 15 seconds gives, was coming to an end. Yeah, it gives possession away. 22 minutes played here in the second half and it's Paul Donnelly in possession again he looked to get on the left he's been closed down by two, three, four players referee says he was being fouled so the opportunity will go the way of Paul Donnelly again to level level matters we have uh, yeah, our bow players starting to give out a wee bit to each other at this stage uh, in frustration there was very little movement Michael Casti had won the mark he was waiting on, on players he wanted to hit it short there wasn't enough movement and now uh, Paul Donnelly you know, he's kicked some magnificent scores. This uh, is a huge kick, Peter. Once again, very, very difficult to execute. He's going to hit it with the outside of his, uh, his foot. Right boot this that time. Is, and that is, that is that's just absolutely incredible. Brilliant. Absolutely yeah. incredible. The assistant says there's been something else here today. Yeah. That was far from an easy kick. Very difficult to execute. And Paul Donaghy is literally keeping Dungannon in this with, with a, uh, the a quality. It's well held in there. Surely that's a free. Yeah, referee and judges. That's a free. That's brilliant hands on that occasion by the substitute in there, Patrick Quinn. Super take by Quinn. Quinn is pulled to the ground. Referee awards the free. Yeah. This should be uh, an easy opportunity well, to bring it down to a point. It's that, that Patrick Quinn has, has made on the game. But, but what a what a fantastic fetch. Uh, again, a bit of shenanigans going on. The edge of the square. Uh, Dungannon Ding, would be wise to kick the ball over the bar and, uh, and to keep the game moving. And the yeah. man who has the ball in his hand is none other than Paul Donaghy. He has kicked eight to date. This should be number nine. Referee, meanwhile, wants to attend to a little bit of uh, paperwork inside, but eventually he says that Donny can take the kick. 29 minutes on my watch as Donny kicks it over the bar. This, one point between the sides. And this possession going to be crucial, so our bow virtually uh, tried it in an effort to maintain possession, kicked it over the sideline, but Dungannon uh, really have to push up now and go man to man. Kyle has lost the ball. And turned over the ball, and this is the opportunity coming through. Is Ryan Jones. Jones gives it to Donny. Donny on the right foot. Donny gets the shot away and over the bar it goes. Over the bar it goes. His 10th 
score of the game. Absolutely incredible from Paul Donnie and the referee has blown the whistle. And what did Peter Callaghan say at the start of the game? He said that the game would be likely to go to extra time. And what has happened? The game has gone to extra time. What an absolutely brilliant game of football. 211 to 16. What a game, or 2-11 to 17, what a fantastic game, Peter Callaghan. Yeah, and Dungannon have got out of jail. For his team, his team are Dungannon, Thomas Clarks. They find themselves one point behind in this LCC Group Tyrone Senior Football Championship quarter final here in Eden Dark. They're in possession with Patrick McNulty. He delivers a long ball into space. That space is well filled there by Patrick Quinn. Quinn lays it off one more time to Daly Jones. Jones clips a little neat shot, chip shot, and over the bar it goes. Second part of the game for Daly Jones. He hadn't much space to operate in, Peter, but he doesn't need it. Yeah, great ball in by Patrick McNulty. Well won by Paddy Quinn. He's proven to be an effective target man in there for them. A huge, huge moment in the context of this game. He scored three points to date. Here he comes. He's just outside the 20 metre line. It'll suit the left footed kicker. It's a difficult enough angle, but here he comes. Left footed. It curling, curling, curling over the bar. It goes. Super score by Kyle Coney. And you need experienced players in those sorts of positions. And Coney is the man. Brian McGuigan down below us looks as if he may well be coming back into the action and we talk about experience well there's nobody more experienced in this park today than the man Brian McGuigan as the ball is fed inside back it's uh, back to Donaghy Donaghy picks it up needs support but Donaghy twists and turns makes a little bit of room gets the shot away and brilliant absolutely brilliant from Donaghy he made all the room for himself there to get that shot away his 12th of the day Dungannon haven't gone away yeah Colm Corrigan fantastic catch uh, again running behind him waiting to get hit kept his eyes on the ball and it was his fetch that uh, ended up with, with, with Paul kicking another brilliant point so once again uh, see Brian McGuigan coming back onto the pitch which we thought maybe would, would happen at some stage to try and see this game out Shea Quinn who has been fantastic <laughs> yeah, Shea Quinn coming off in the Arbo subs to a man mm-hmm. giving him a, a round of applause Arbo have worked it short yeah Kyle Cole is again, the man Kyle securing possession. Yeah, 215 to 19 points. That's 21 to 19. Two points between, between the teams. Our bow need to secure possession, retain the ball, work it slowly and patiently down the field. Eat away the last three minutes of this game. They're going backwards to go forwards. The ball is in the hands of Ronan Casti. Casti is the goalkeeper who runs into trouble. Did he carry too long? Touched on the ground. That looks like that's a free to our or to Duncanon, and that is well, in incredibly fairness, naive. Yeah, and it and has to be naive. Said, Ronan just would have been better even driving a sixty yards down the pitch. But you've got to give credit to Duncanon, and in particular Mark McKearney. He's telling the rest of his players now to push up. A fantastic bit of uh, tackling. Maybe he chased three or four different our bow men in an effort to turn over possession. He he did that, and as a result of their endeavours, it's now a one point game. Uh, with what two minutes to go so yeah. once again and many times have I said this, this is an important kick out Dungannon going man to man Ronan Casti looking towards Kyle Coney, Kyle is putting his hands up he said he wants it, Ronan ignores him ball is out into the centre field it'll break probably, oh brilliant by Donaghy what can this man not do he's kicked 12 points in the game to date he's driving this Dungannon team forward, there's an opportunity now for Matthew Watch, back it goes to Donny. Donny pops it over the bar brilliant score again super super play by Duncanon and incredibly incredibly this game is level I don't think it was Donaghy it, it was Paddy Quinn, pa- Paddy Quinn. Yeah. score yeah. Yeah. Uh, and it, it was Paul Donaghy that, that caught the kick out what a fantastic catch uh, to set up that score and it's hard to believe but uh, with just over a minute left these sides are level well, uh, it's all Kyle, about Kyle looking the kick out. It's aimed towards him this time. It's all about the kick out, and so far uh, in the last couple of minutes, it's been all done. Gannon have dominated. Here they come again. They were three points behind a moment, ago, a couple of moments ago. This is an opportunity to put them one in front. The ball is on the way from Patrick Quinn. Quinn shot has gone over the bar. Is there anything more that this game can deliver? The answer is yes. It's delivered a point for Paddy Quinn again, and incredibly, Peter Callaghan, Duncanon are in. 
in the lead and they're 45 seconds away from victory. And again it came from them securing possession. Ronan Casti trying to head it long. Ball Once again, Colm Corrigan, second catch. Yeah, from, Corrigan from a kick out. gathers the ball. Don't Callan just need to retain possession. It would be a dangerous ploy. I look at the board, it goes up down below us. It indicates that there'll be a minute of additional time to be played. We have 35 seconds of normal time to be played, plus one minute. Don't Callan lead by a point. 215 to 22 points. You're watching Tyrone GA TV bringing you the most pulsating game that we've watched in the championship possibly to date. The ball is in the hands there of the Dungallan man Kiefer Morgan Morgan slips it inside it's all about ball retention for the Clarks a ball back to McKerney he has a lot to do to win it he does win it gets it back one more time to Donahue Donahue tells uh, the players where to put the ball they want it over here this side of the field to Matthew Watch Watch comes forward 50 seconds left in the game Dungallan lead by one Daly Jones will come forward but no doubt he'll double back and try and retain possession brings it into the tackle has support there that's support is provided by the man in possession of the football and that's none other than Kieran Barker Barker lays it off there opportunity now for Locke and Mallon Mallon gives it inside into Kieran Barker Barker retaining possession the clock says with 25 seconds left ball stepped inside surely this is the seal the nail yes indeed it has Kevin Barker is the man who pops it over the bar and Duncanon are in dreamland absolute dreamland the lead by two points in this game they've came from 21-18 down to win the game, game. Over. it's all over incredible <laughs> incredible Peter Cameron what a six minute spell of football by Duncanon and as good a win as they've had in the championship for a long long time three points down extra time players out on their feet talk about heart and, and cuteness and clever football and that cl- last minute the way they held on to the ball before Kevin Barker headed over the uh, over the bar so thoroughly deserved what and, scenes and, out here Peter yeah, unbelievable yeah, and, and, and Paul Donaghy what a performance we, we spoke about it at the end of normal time he added to it uh, with what he brought to the table at, uh, during injury time and look at the amount of players from both sides who have given absolutely everything there's our both players uh, laying all over the place here at this stage and the respect that both have uh, is incredible absolutely they know stage. that they've been part of a, a great game a great tussle and I say with, with three points down with five minutes to go it took something special and three brilliant scores to get them level so Collie Holmes going around each one of his players and, and he can be so proud of them because uh, it was put to Dungannon today at the end of normal time they were behind and certainly the same in extra time here and they give some, some response so as I say one of